can't Zeke deep again. It's the coach, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, Ezekiel Elliott, fresh off 100 yards a week ago. Coming up, we'll see the visiting Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Dallas Cowboys. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Dallas Cowboys. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty good last week. It was a solid win, a comprehensive win. On the other side of the field for the visiting Bucs, whatever promise they had to start the season fully evaporated now as they come in losers of six straight. And sometimes when you're in the middle of a losing streak, being on the road is exactly what you want. You can only depend on each other. Let's see if they can use that as fuel in this ball game. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? This will be field at the eight. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Excuses, be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. He was able to pick up six yards there, so that leaves him with a third and 13. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs... They're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. And this opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. Ready. From the shotgun, it's Winston. But the man has got it. It's complete. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. Yeah, that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their Marshall performance. Fall. Face mask. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore oh, first how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. Winston. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Read it well and it's picked. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception throw. And that last one, that hurts. Set to take the 
field. And, you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division, looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals, all right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. Number three goal and the biggest goal, I think. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jason Pierre-Paul in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Now Prescott. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Third and long for Prescott. And that's caught by Beasley. And mark him down way up close to the 40 of the 39. He got 29 yards that time. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. And we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover. Gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them. To show respect to them. Hey, you guys got some turnover? <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Prescott on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. It makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Ezekiel Elliott, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. On third down, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah. Oh, the puck swarm in, and they block it. It's picked up, and this is a live ball, remember. We got it. We got it. Good job, Pete. An Good early job, Pete. special teams wake-up call there, their first drive, and they have the puck block. And obviously they were giving the ball up, but that's not the way it's supposed to conclude. That ball's supposed to be downfield, better field position for your defense to work off of. Instead, you've given up a momentum play, and now you've got the other side excited. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And this is caught at the eight. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. First time into the red zone for the Buccaneers. They've got a first and goal to go at the seventh. Now whistles here before the snap. Looked like one of the Bucks may have moved. False start. Offense. Not easy being a rookie left tackle in this league, <laughs> and there they got him for the penalty. Not easy at all. Think about what you're dealing with every game you play. Ostensibly, the best pass rusher is over you on every snap. I'd be a little jumpy myself. Let's go, 
Well, that false start knocks them back behind the 10 now as they'll try again. First and goal. To throw, Winston. His pass caught at the four. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second goal. They come up in an offset eye. He'll get it up the middle. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. This is third and goal now. 80,000 on their feet here in Arlington. One receiver left, three to the right. Now whistles here before the snap. Looked like one of the Bucks may have moved. Offense. That was a third and somewhat manageable now, not so manageable. Exactly, because you had a play call on that you felt like, hey, this could go quick, and it doesn't take much to get it done. Now, you got to start thinking about a little bit of a deeper route type of a call, especially if you want to throw it. A bad time for a full start penalty as they're backed up now for third and goal. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. This is third and goal now. 80,000 on their feet here in Arlington. Ready, black, 22. Now Winston. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Bucs have taken a first quarter lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Boswell good with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive, four plays, and it ends with a touchdown for the Bucks. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They start on the ground with Allen. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping... This big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Prescott now on second down. Looking and finding Allen Hearns. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Dak finding the former Jag Hearns for the Dallas first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. 
First down, Prescott. And he fires one incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better than it hits the ground. Instead, going to an opposite color jersey. And this time, he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. And defensively, a dime look here. Six DBs on third and 12. No surprise at all. Prescott from the gun. Steps away to his left. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. A 39-yard punt, a return of five, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Our first look at the NFL scoreboard comes from Green Bay. And the Redskins there out to an early lead. Alex Smith, a first quarter touchdown pass in that one. Winston and the Bucks take over now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. To throw is Winston. Throw right side caught by O.J. Howard. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch in second and eight. We'll look now at the starting 11 on defense for Dallas. Against the pass, they're toward the middle of the league, number 15 in the NFL. So prepping for this game, I kept asking myself the question, what's keeping this group from being top 10 in the league against the pass? And too many mistakes, especially little mistakes. And those add up into big mistakes. Big mistakes add up into points against you. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. And they'll go on the ground. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It's a loss of two. Now third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft. And able to really make a big time play for their defense. On third down, Winston. He's got Evans. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tackles for foul. good measure. Face mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Oh, that's first down. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now a play fake here on first down. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Two sacks last week. Another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes and he's capitalizing. And a few times he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. Now it's Chris Boswell on for the 
field goal try. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. And Boswell's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10-zip. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and ten at their own 25-yard line. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Clayton Gathers makes the stop. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back at this side. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They've got a second down at five here to start things out. Here's Prescott. It's incomplete. Charles, he doesn't seem to be particularly in tune with his receivers, just two for seven throwing the football, but he did seem really locked in before the game. Yeah, and that has to do with receivers sometimes. Sometimes the defenders knock them off their routes, and they're usually pretty precise. One, two, three, cut, balls out of his hands to the receiver. In this case, might be off by a half step either way. They've got to find a way to get back in sync. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves them with a fourth down now. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed for the defense. Oh, the puck swarm in, and they block it. Uh, so much for pinning him, really deep, short punt. Could have pinned him inside the 10. Now great field position the other way. It's never good when you're punting the ball and your eyes see the ball go back behind you. <laughs> no. However form, whether it's over your head or to the side, never good. Now it becomes a race to get to the football so they don't pick it up and take it all the way. And we shift to spotlighting Mike Evans, sitting right around the midpoint of the season, on pace for 1,000 yards. Good year so far, and I'm sure film study being devoted to him a little bit more on the other side. They have to because the pace that he's carrying right now, if you're, if you're pushing a 1,000-yard pace as a receiver, that means he warrants your attention. And right now, precision is going on with their offense. Kind of like that timepiece you wear on your wrist. You know, the good stuff. Got to knock that off somehow. Chip away at that time and change things up a little bit and make them go to other things and make them do those things better. Yeah, try to make him uncomfortable. Not many teams have been able to do that so far this year. Touchdown now on the year. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. The well, defense have got to start doing something different because this guy's absolutely carving them up, especially down here in the red zone. He's been one of the top receiving tight ends here in the first half of the season. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The booth wants to take another look at this potential Three touchdown. took them an extra look but they found out it is a touchdown indeed the official says this one counts extra point put through by boswell and that makes our score 17 nothing well that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory excellent field position two plays later pater this will be fielded at the eight and a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And now Dallas.
Dallas gets set to take the field. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. The give is to Elliott. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Second down throw for Prescott. Airing it out for Hearns. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Offense. Let's check in with our referee. So they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You just got to pick up a holding call. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Now Prescott. He hits Beasley right side. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. Looking to throw, Prescott, he finds Hearns left side, and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It'll be a gain of 16 and give him a first down as well. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. Prescott to throw it. Forced out to his left. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special runs in order to win that type of an award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and ten. Prescott looks to throw on first. Flushed out right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Brian, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. On second down, Elliott. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. Joe McCoy is always going to be linked with Indominus Sue. They came into the NFL in the same draft class. There was a lot of debate about who was going to be the better defensive tackle. They just do it two different ways. McCoy, more movement, more elusiveness. That allowed him to make the play there for a short game. The Cowboys on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and eight. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Flush to his right. He can run for it. Oh, Prescott stripped. And they are going to set up sharp at the 40-yard line. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk reward. And I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit, and in this case, Lose the football. So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you've got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can. And that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. Everyone's ready. Black 25. 
Flags come in. And we'll check out the call. Ball start. Offense. So that'll back him up five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. to the 40. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. The Bucks on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and ten. From the gun, Winston. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. A pretty rocky start in this game for the guy throwing the ball. Already has thrown one interception. Almost threw a second one right there. All he's doing right now is giving the defense a whole lot of confidence. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it. He loses it. Somehow, the ball finds its way back to him. A tone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. A first down throw for Prescott. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Of course, he's coming off that NFC Offensive Player of the Week performance. Two scores in that game a week ago. And how did he get them? Speed is one thing, but how about the niftiness in his route running, able to cross people up in the secondary and make sure that they can't quite get to him before the ball arrives. He's something after the catch as well. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Tim carry now for Allen. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses. Those exact type of runs. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And that one goes incomplete. They tried something out of the bag of tricks, but it's incomplete and now second down. Throwing again, Prescott on second and ten. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down.
And now before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gaunt alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes the timeout. And now we're set to get going. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. And he's had all kinds of problems just getting punts off so far. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Jameis Winston and company heading back onto the field now. And he's looked pretty good. Does have the one interception, but two touchdown passes so far. Your analysis. They'll take the offset. When you talk about throwing two touchdown passes, no one wants to see an interception thrown, but those things happen in the course of a ball game and over the course of a season. But throwing two touchdown passes, that's why the team has an advantage. That's what they're looking for more of. They'll be hoping to make it a 3-1 to one ratio here in the second quarter. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now, we get the artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. So first and 10 now from the 30. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. His throw incomplete. Big O.J. Howard, his intended target. And now it's second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Throwing again. Winston on second and ten. He's got his tight end over the middle, O.J. Howard. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Winston. Evans has it left side. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A really nice gain of 25 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, the offer can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Three touchdown passes now in the ball game for Jameis Winston. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. Such an art to dot the I, just get the feet in right there against the line before going out of bounds. Such an incredibly graceful, athletic play, but also a lot of practice goes into it. They work on that to make sure that they learn how to train their feet to get down in bounds. This one taken just inside the 10. Gets around it, and he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. 
And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Second down, Prescott. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. TJ Carey right there in coverage. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. On third down, Elliott. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. And now the Fox deciding to take a timeout defensively as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Mike Evans and the rest of the offensive unit heading back out there now. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call him a day. Because otherwise, he can really decimate him. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Buccaneers out on top. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, all right, Brandon. Thank you very much. Hi again, everyone. And just like that, on we head to half number two. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. No gain on that run, and while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going. Hey, we're going right there. We're going right there. What do you think? What do you think? Prescott now on second down. Escaping the pressure right. And that's off the mark, incomplete. He was looking to get it to Allen Hearns that time, and it's third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. On third down, it's Prescott. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Noah Spence in there to get him for a loss of nine, and that'll lead to fourth down. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Winston and the Bucks take over now first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Second down. Well, Brandon. 
excited so much for halftime adjustments. They still can't get anything going on the ground. It may be time to loosen things up and start flinging it around a little bit. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Ready. Ready. Now whistles here before the snap. Looked like one of the Bucks may have moved. False start. Offense. Well, this O-line's been great. They've got the big lead, so give them a pass there, I guess. Yeah, I would think so, because if we were grading them on their performance in this game, a lot of pluses in their boxes so far. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now Winston. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Jameis to throw it. Open man has got one. It's complete. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I will hear about that from him soon. And they'll go with a ground attack here. Got some real estate inside the 30. And down to the 27-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Tyrone Crawford in on the tackle. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. And they'll go up the ground. And all is going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty oh, easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. Working out of the gun. Winston. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Chris Godwin that time. And that'll bring up second down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want. Get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Ready. On second down, Winston again. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and say, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. They go to Elliott again, and they'll get him down right around the 11-yard line. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost
almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Now Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. TJ Carey right there in coverage. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. A second down throw for Prescott. He's got a man complete. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. 89 yards and the Cowboys cut into that lead and correct me if I'm wrong that was just a simple fly route wasn't it no there's nothing to correct at all you've got it down pat and I just remember as a player when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers that meant fly route go uh oh look out <laughs> that was the nine and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown Extra point attempt to follow here. The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make it 24 to 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken short. Turn. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Now a play fake here on first down. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now, there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? No. No, not at all. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Ready? They'll run it now out of the gun. Able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. The Bucks on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third down and 12. Throwing Winston. This is going to be incomplete. EJ gains the one that time to knock it away. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Yeah, out now come the Cowboys. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are. But with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Oh, an empty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Now second and seven from the 23. Two 
to throw is Prescott. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, it should not stop them at all from going back to him. Though. Find him. Find him. Throw it. Prescott. And it's caught by Beasley. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. A Dallas first down. Prescott hook it up with Beasley. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence, when in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this, when he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field, incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. Nifty footwork at the 45. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked up by Thomas Davis. And it's a tremendous return as they finally get him at about the 10-yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw it right into it for an interception. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bucs capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. And certainly some credit there for that touchdown goes to the offensive line. They never get the credit they deserve in the stat sheet, but they are the reason that they got the points. Excellent job up front, clearing the way for the score. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. This is Hallier. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Prescott from the gun on third. He's got a man. It's Williams. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First target, first catch, and a first down. One of the selling points at the end route is against the quarterback, a really nice sight line to his receiver, and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success, as they did on that play. They go play action here on first down. Rolling to his right. It's caught right side, it turns. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, another first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. 
on the run, had to get on his horse, still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he gets it down to the 32. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. Gonna throw right side here, complete. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. In fourth down after a loss of one. They're already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. They'll run it with Elliott. And he's not even going to come close to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Ezekiel Elliott not able to get it past the marker. And the Buccaneers defense holds and they get the football back. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop them short of the marker. Oh, someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. And they'll run it here. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard and it'll set up third down. Brand, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. They'll try to throw now, Winston. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. This is caught by Jackson. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 15 yards through the air and a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. And they'll go with the ground attack here. They'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. 
their biggest bout right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. That's Wilson, and he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. And they'll go on the ground. And a short game here, down to the 22. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. The Bucks on third down. They've been really good, converting seven of their ten tries. This is third and seven. From the gun, Winston. Out to the left there, complete to Howard. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points. So this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Defensively, you said coming in earlier in the broadcast, the magic number was 20 points for you. That's what you thought they would have to hold this offense to, or, or less than that. And wow, they've done that in a big way, haven't they? And not only have they done it, they put themselves in a great position to win this one because holding them down was paramount. If they could get it done, but guess what? We see the end result. Right now, they have their eye on victory. And leading here in the fourth. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, Oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A really nice gain of 25 yards. <laughs> On play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Intentional grounding offense. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Here's Prescott. And his throw is incomplete. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this.
So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Prescott to throw it. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. It's a 15-yard pickup, but it'll lead to a fourth down. If you run an out route, it's likely you're going to end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Prescott down. Flushed out right. And he's got it to Hearns. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Well, certainly not how they drew it up. A fourth down gamble turns into a fourth down scramble, but all is well. First down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Prescott yet again. And his throw here is incomplete. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Two incompletions haven't moved them any closer. And likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. Flush to his right. And he will score. Touchdown. with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass, but it turned into an exceptional run. What a scramble for a touchdown. from here, but let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. And the Buccaneers able to recover. Their hands team does its job. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Ready. And they'll run it here. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. take that for granted no matter who you're playing no matter where you're playing you take it and you run with it <laughs> and you know you prime the pump all week in your own home facility no one thinks we can do this only people who believe are right here in this room and then you go on the road band together and get it done so for the bucks it's a nice win to finish off what's been an ugly first half as they move to two and six and they'll return home next week to take on the new orleans